set now here. Uh, everything is exactly the same, and yeah, like we we're kind of discussing before this game started, yeah, if it comes down to a 2v2 situation where Hugo Strange and Superman in those damage 13s in, on the 7 8 uh, 9 side go for the central, uh, central uh, southern part of the hilltop, and on the opposing they have not tonight send their Pershing and their AMX 13 up there. You know, not tonight are going to have a, at least a, a slight advantage in, in that 2v2 situation. Indeed, well, it's, it's all going to come down to whether or not both of them are going to rush uh, the water side, uh, the southern coast. It, it, you know, I, I'm expecting at least like all tier 8 heavies to go for the northern parts uh, on both sides. That's what I expect. And then, like, yeah, once again, uh, the lighter tanks try to duke it out towards the water and under the thumb already progressing towards that point as we speak. Uh, I, I believe the Pershing will stay a little further back, though. Yeah, yeah, no, those definitely. So we do see already uh, on the Knots Knight side, they're sending their three heavy tanks up there to the northern To the bus, yeah, that, that's, that's yeah, yeah. obvious. And they actually have already sent one of their, I think, Amex 13s. Yeah, both Amex, or actually, no, on, only under the thumb there in an uh, Amex 13 down to the southern part of the hilltop, as well as uh, Mr. Adhesive here also making his way up. Yeah, Mr. Adhesive with the Pershing uh, that's slowly creeping up as well. You got Hugo Strange and Superman, like the, the both 1390s on the uh, 789 side that uh, are not committing fully actually to that water area. One of them, uh, it wasn't Hugo Strange, it was the other one, uh, was camping uh, on the uh, ooh, huge shot dodge here. Yeah. Uh, was camping on one of those balconies uh, south of the uh, Northern Pass. Yeah, and already, yeah, because of the Pershing, uh, not tonight actually do have control of this southern hilltop area now with Under the Thumb and both Mr. Keys here guarding and preventing both of those uh, AMX 13s on the opposing side from making their way up here. They just have to watch out for the Northern Pass though, because yeah, yeah. uh, they, you know, they are vulnerable to uh, flanking fire pretty much, so uh, the ice three on their side uh, really has to make sure that uh, uh, the Pershing and the 1390 don't get flanked with that Northern Pass area, otherwise it's just really, really there. otherwise we're just gonna get cut and off once again, so... Oh, I love this positioning actually coming out uh, from the not to night side, really kind very of... Very safe! Yeah, very very spread out, not allowing, not opening up any single part of the map for a for a, a push. I mean, yeah, there's no cheap appro approach yeah, yeah, to yeah. this formation, pretty much. It's not like rock tight either, but at the same time there's no clear, easy way through. Obviously, you've got that IS-3, uh, you know, just uh, clearly uh, providing just the defense needed to the Northern Pass. You've got Emasculated that's lined up on this 5100 uh, towards the base. So, uh, yeah, excellent cover fire both to the water and to the Northern Pass uh -oh. as well. Oh, Smith is actually spotting here. Smith is trying to land a shot onto Hugo Strange. Yeah, he's gonna oh, land nice, a nice shot. One, yeah. yeah, that's a 400 uh, hit point. Like, oh, he's landing for another one, actually. Well, because the track was damaged. Yep, yep. Yeah, he missed that one. Though. Oh, Hugo Strange is actually hiding behind a rock now. So. Well, he had to. Once again, like, you know, 1390 taking a direct shot from an IS-3, that's yeah. bound to be from damaged. any tank, actually. Exactly. And, and you know, if you're 1390, you only have, like, 1100 hit points. So 400 out of that, you do the Oh, match. actually, under the thumb, actually also taking a lot of damage as well. Under the thumb, over there, way over there to the sub part of the hilltop down to 650 health already so a lot of damage already being landed onto both sides here it's about even because both the amix 13 and look at that side. it's a charge it's a charge coming from seven at nine they're, they're committing towards the uh, hilltop i'm not oh, too sure about that though it's not good yeah no i'm not too sure about that because i uh, although submissive is defending by by himself he's got cover five from his emasculated look at where emasculated is right now yep, on that yeah uh, towards his uh, own starting position and he can land shots on anybody who's out there in the open and submissive didn't even take a shot yet. That oh, ice cream. Yeah, really look at that. Down. Exactly. So submissive. Although he's the lone one tank defending, like the northern pass, he didn't even take a single shot yet. Yeah, no, most definitely. So Hugo Strange also about to go down here. This is yep. not looking good for the 789 side. They should have waited just a little bit more, uh, or at least pushed in a, uh, in a different direction. I think that huge, huge job both from yeah, Hugo Maintenance. Yeah, yeah. And like both 50s, 100 are just unleashing so much damage. Like, you know, they're posted on balconies more towards like towards their own starting position. So uh, they're not taking too much damage. And they're covering submissive so well. Look at that. Submissive only took like finally he's taking some damage, but that ISP has tanked so much for everybody else. So he essentially uh, traded his life for three tanks. Exactly. I mean that is such a worthy trade and great job from submissive here. This is gonna allow his team to easily finish finish off the remaining tanks. Well it's not over yet, but uh, uh -oh, it's tied I mean, up again. Yeah, no, they, they tied it up, but the thing is just so much damage has gone like uh, the, the, on the uh, 
uh, well, has been dealt on yeah, the yeah, 789 yeah. side. So, okay, although, there we go, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Going down. He, he was even in terms of numbers, but definitely not in terms of hit points. Oh, so, Hugo uh, Strange about to fall here. Oh, there yeah, he goes. He yeah. down. I mean, you know, it's brave effort once again, but uh, yeah, it's Almost. just uh, it's, it's too much of a deficit to come back from. In terms of hit points, they were at least a thousand plus behind. Yeah, and the thing is, they just left Submissive alive for too long. I mean, it, they weren't they couldn't, in the... They, they tried to charge yeah, it, yeah, but those 50s, 100 were just providing so much fire. Uh, yeah, well. yeah, like, like I was actually about to say, they they tried to take him out. They did. But eventually, by the time they even were able to throw down any sort of damage, they had to progress over there to the more eastern side of the map. And while they were transitioning over there, the Amex 50s, like you said, were just getting free well, yeah, damage. Because and the other tanks, like the Amex 13 and the Pershing as well, were able to come down and defend that very, very easily. Well, exactly, because they had to come out of cover from the rocks to crack shots at Submissive, and as soon as he did, well, you know, those auto loaders like started unleashing, and, and by the time, well, pretty much they got in range, they had already lost, like, I'd say the equivalent, well, you know, spread damage-wise, the equivalent of, like, yeah, 1,500, perhaps, like, hit points, that's a, that's a heavy tank for you. Yeah. Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, it's like in terms of numbers, we're still even, but it was only a matter of time before, of course, uh, Not Tonight would capitalize on this advantage. And the base capture about to finish in about three more seconds here. Congrats to Not Tonight for taking this first set.